Okay, so here we are again with the machine that is very unhappy and beeping away because it's not connected to anything. So when you can get the machine to finally settle down and show no contraction, you know that you've got a good connection. So I'm going to put sticky on him. Some uh, people with brachial plexus injury are very sensitive to um, stickiness. You can also wrap this around. The deltoids is a little harder to get at, but really good wrapping. If you want to do biceps or triceps, wrapping works really well. Okay, so um, notice that if I tap it, it freaks out. That's a, not a real contraction. That's just a, if you jiggle it too much, it messes up the machine. Okay? So now go back across your chest again. Turn your arm down to your belly and tighten your muscle across your chest. See, there we get a contraction. He's not doing it a lot because he's not fighting anything. Hey, get it closer. Is Zoom in? Uh, no, 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 no. Move that closer to the camera. There you go. Jeez, it's there gonna you go. it's gonna focus on that though. Yeah, yeah but rotate, okay. rotate in, and pull across with your deltoids. Okay. So you notice how his deltoids don't really activate when doing that. You'll find with your OBPI OBPI people that actually this pulls the deltoids in quite strongly. So the deltoids have become a across the arm moving muscle instead of an open arm out to the side moving muscle, which is what we're going to try and show how we make them into that muscle now. Okay, so hold that to show it to the screen. First thing I want you to do is take the arm, hopefully we have the range for this, straighten it out to the side and have the person, now don't relax. Um, don't relax. Yeah, do relax. Sorry, don't tense up. And try and have them find the muscle here. Um, some people were able to discover the muscle, get the brain to contact the muscle here by wiggling fingers, um, trying to do little circles with the arm, um, thinking reach out and touch a hand with the fingers, uh, trying to move it up and down, various things. Try this for like two or three minutes. Um, and if you can't get, you know, even try and drop it and see if anything happens. If you can't get a response, then the next step is to put the muscle back where, I've rotated this a little bit towards the back too much, but it still should work. Put the muscle back to where it activates. So back across the front, tense up your deltoid across the front. Deltoid, that's what I yeah, That muscle oh, that out one. there. Okay. okay. Have, them, have them cross it and where it, a point where it activates, and then have them turn it off. Relax. Relax your arm. Okay. Drop it into my hand. Okay. Then move it out a little bit. Have them think about crossing the arm in front and maybe even try and do it, so which will activate that muscle. So think about tensing up your deltoids, baby. Okay. Rotating your arm. There we go. Okay, but don't let the arm cross in front. So I'm holding it out. We're going to want to turn you. Okay. 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 And then relax again. Rest. Okay. Bring it out again. And you're going to need to internally rotate your arm to make this like that. comparable. Mm -hmm. Now try and Tense it up like you're lifting it forward again, but don't. I'm going to lift it up off my hand with those muscles. Up. Good. Okay. But don't let the arm come in. All right. And relax. And just keep doing this, working it out. They're going to try and follow the action of the muscle until they get it to where it works all the way out on the side. Now you can probably just lift up normally and it'll activate. Okay. So, and then go for many on and offs. So each time, relax. Okay, so each time the brain looks for and finds the muscle is a repetition, not how strong a contraction you get, not how big a movement you get with the arm. You just want to reach out and find, reach out and find, reach out and find many, many times as you can. Okay, so try it again. Okay, and relax. As soon as you hit those yellow lights, which you can't see, but you can see there. Okay, do it again. And then eventually you hopefully find that this hand preventing the arm from rotating forward won't be needed anymore, okay? Now, if the shoulder joint is really internally rotated, now do it, it's going to be more like that, okay, because the arm is internally rotated. Now, notice, I got the electrode around the back pretty far, so we're actually, he's using his posterior deltoids to hold his arm in abduction in this position. So those posterior deltoids, in a future installment, we hope, We'll actually learn how to use those to pull the arm into internal rotation like this instead. Okay, so push against my hand in internal rotation and look at how look at how active those muscles are. So those are the same muscles 
that will hold the arm up out to the side in internal rotation. Isn't that amazing? So if you can do this in internal rotation, you also should be able to do push back on my hand like that. Okay? So just get here for this time, on and off, on and off, on and off, and see if you can go all the way back down, lift out to the side, and play with that. You'll be exhausted after about 10 minutes, I promise. Okay? So that's what people did at camp, and it was amazing how successful it was for some adults and a lot of kids. Alright? Great. Bye. Okay.